Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. This is going to be a reading to see who is wanting to reconnect with you or wanting to connect with you. And this could be energetically, emotionally or physically. Um, and we're going to try to channel these spirit guides um, to see what, what messages they have in store around this person and why of course, they may be wanting to connect or reconnect with you. Now, if you enjoy this reading, please feel free to drop a like. You're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification button to get updates and notifications for readings for your sign. Um, otherwise, I'd like to press forward with this reading uh, and see what comes up in terms of who this person is that's trying to um, connect. Okay, that's trying to channel you um let's have a look and see what comes up in the cards okay we could have a libra coming through here uh leo okay with the world card i feel like there's been an attempt from this person to reconnect with you but it's failed it may have come online what comes to mind is like unseen messages messages in your spam email, unseen messages on like Twitter or Instagram, social media, um, it could even be an email that bounced back. It's almost like an element of rejection that's coming up. This is potentially someone you've rejected before of signs. Okay. There is, or you might've left them, might've left or rejected them. Um, the justice card can be like legal battles, separations, divorces. Um, you know, you might've shared some sort of legal link with this person somehow okay this is a karmic karmic bond um there's an element of rejection or it's someone that's sort of like in the friend zone that maybe try to leave that area of signs it almost like feels like this person feels like family somehow to you or you've got this really family friendly feel now i i do want to say there's rejection so i feel like this is someone who attempted to have love with you um, you might have even had a relationship. Uh, Justice card can indicate a relationship, but it's one that sort of just was cut off. So what comes to mind is like this person may have been ghosted. You may have rejected them. You may have left them on red. Um, is there a romantic link? I don't know. I feel like this person now wants to connect on a friendship level. The cards that I'm seeing, it's like this person is on the fence about what it is that they want with you. They're a little bit unclear. Um, the world has come up twice. It could be someone worldly, bilingual, from a different heritage. Um, could be someone further away or even a long distance person. Okay, you, you, you may be separated from them geographically. There could be a distance between the both of you. Okay, so that's coming up in the cards. Um, This person, I feel, might be asking about you through mutual friends or you have mutual friends. There's people that connect the both of you somehow. Um, it's either a small social circle. It could even be like a work thing, work colleagues, teammates, companies, conferences. There is some sort of link you have to this person. Um, but the castle walls are up with a justice card. It's someone who's very by the book like very righteous maybe, uh, politically correct. It's someone who's very much by the book. They're, they've got high morals and they have a lot of integrity. Um, and this is the person that's trying to connect with you. I don't, I'm not getting a strong romantic vibe to it. I feel like with the Justice card and the Three of Cups, it makes me feel like you have sort of left them at an at arm's length. You've rejected them before and they know their place and they're sticking to it. But besides that, I don't think this person wants to push anything romantically just yet. I'm getting more of a vibe that they just want to connect with you on a friendship level. Um, I think it's innocent. I do. I feel like with the Strength card reverse, they may not be in a good place right now. Now, if they do have romantic feelings and they are a friend... I do want to say that the strength card reversed can bring out some pretty nasty tendencies. Now, what I say when I mean this, or what I mean when I say this, I should say, is that there can be a jealous bone in this person's body, right? So you've updated your status, you're going out, you've done something, they've seen it, they're aware, they're stuck in the friend zone, they're not happy about it, 
and there might be feelings of reversed Leo coming up. Okay, we've got jealousy, we've got pride, we've got ego, ego inflation, um, all those sorts of things are coming up. And this is why this person wants to connect because I feel like you've activated that part for them. Whether you're aware of it or not, Earth signs, uh, whether you've done it deliberately or not, um, regardless, they're feeling it. Okay, you've sort of, you've hit a nerve here. And I feel like with a justice card, someone wants to get even with karma. It's very interesting. I don't necessarily feel like they want to be nasty. I'm not getting a nasty vibe here. Um, I just feel like they want to connect and they genuinely want to know what's up, what's what's been happening with you. But at the same time, I feel like there's there there is some sort of motive that's that's hidden right now. It's not revealed. The world card is reversed, so I feel like they're not going to reveal too much of themselves. Um, they may do it very slyfully, uh, and, and if they do, they do do it on the sly, um, I get the message that it's going to be sort of sussing you out through friends, okay, seeing what you've been up to, seeing who you're seeing, you know, it's this sort of energy. It can be someone you've had children with, we've got a child in the cards with the Ten of Pentacles, um, someone you might have had a family with, or someone that feels like family, or is very close to your family. It could also be another factor why this person doesn't want to break the bond. Um, you may be connecting with them. Um, and it may be other people that bring you and this person together. And I feel like with the world card, there's something to do with like unfinished business. Something that the, uh, didn't develop between the both of you for whatever reason. It's almost like there may be a second chance that comes around and sort of um, pops up. Pops up for you, pops up for them. And it'll give them a, a chance to, to, to reconnect. Um, I feel like definitely with the world card coming up twice, they've done a bit of stalking maybe on your, on your social media or online platforms. Uh, on your websites, on your social media pages, on professional pages, on networking pages. They've done some sort of searching, I feel, with the world card. It could also be that this person, um, if you haven't had touch with them for quite some time, it could be that they've been away on holiday, um, interstate. They, they might have been in a different location. Uh, they might have even done some soul searching and they may even say that to you when you connect. They may even say, you know, I've been so busy or you might ask them, like, where have you been? What have you been up to? And that just uh, that may be their their. Um, that might be something that they, that they will say that they've been busy doing that. So um, I will leave the reading at that of signs. Uh, Taurus, Tappy Virgo, thank you for tuning in. It's always a pleasure. Don't forget to drop a like and also to hit the subscribe button uh, and also the bell button to get updates for readings for your sign, which will be coming to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming. Um, otherwise, I really do appreciate you joining me uh, and I hope to be in touch very, very, very soon. So uh, thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.